Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will look at the sort command that helps you sort the lines of a text file based on the key field. Please help me out by hitting the subscribe button so I can learn to sew. The sort program is a utility to sort lines of text within a text file. You can sort alphabetically, in reverse order, by number, by month, etc. In digital forensics, incidents, response, and system administration, it is usually used in conjunction with other programs like cut or grep or awk, etc. to parse through log files. The basic syntax of sort is sort, followed by optional options, and then the file to operate the command upon. Or if there's no input file, it's going to take it from standard input. In this example, we're going to sort the Etsy password file. So we can type sort slash Etsy password. And then we're going to pipe it through head and with a dash 15 because we just want to see the first 15 lines so we can fit everything on one page. So as you can see, by default, it is going to sort alphabetically by the very first character. So you can see now it's going to be sorting by the username alphabetically. And as I mentioned before, if you don't specify an input file, it will just take the input from standard in. So we could also have typed head-15 of slash Etsy password and then pipe that through sort. And in ASCII, the uppercase characters come before the lowercase characters and the numbers come before the alphabets. Now, if we want to reverse that sorting order, we can add the dash R option. So we just up arrow and add the dash R and hit enter. Now we can see that the data is sorted reverse alphabetically. You can also sort by a key column via the dash K option. Let's say we want to sort by the third field, which is the user ID. We can go ahead and do head dash 15 of Etsy password pipe that through sort. We're going to do the dash T option to specify the field separator by doing dash T double quote colon double quote and then specify the column to sort under which is the dash K and then we want number three. So as you can see in the output it is now sorted by the third column starting with 0 and then 10, 13, 1, 2, 33, and so forth. So it's not really numerically. It's basically still sorting it by ASCII. So in order to sort it numerically, what we need to do is specify the dash N option. So if we do an up arrow and then add a dash N option, now you can see the output is sorted numerically as we humans would uh, see it. You can also sort by human readable form via the dash H option. For system administrators, you're going to be concerned with disk space usage all the time, so you may be interested in the sizes of your available drives. Running the DF command would give you the general information you need. This shows the mounted file systems and the used and available space. We can add the dash H option for human readable to make it easier to read. Let's say we want to view the partitions which have the least amount of space on top. So what we can do is sort it with the dash K option of sort. So if we do DF dash H, pipe it to sort dash K, and we are going to sort it by the fourth column, so number four. And so this literally sorts just the numeric portion of the field and again, not by uh, how we want to see it, right? We see zero on top, which is fine. And then anything else that starts with one, which in my case is 13 gig. And then it's going to continue uh, from there until the bottom of the list, which is five meg. So this is not really what we want, right? We, the five megs is smaller really than 13 gigs. So what we can do is apply the dash H option for human readable within sort. So if we up arrow and add the dash H option, now we see the zero on top followed by the 5.0 meg and then lastly ending with 13 G, right? So this is by our human order correctly sorted. 
So this almost looks good, except for the header line right here, which gets sorted along with the data. Really should have the header state as the header. So there are a few ways of fixing this. One way is to use the sed command to first print out just the header line and then sort everything else but the first line. So what we can do is df-h, pipe it through sed-n of tick one p tick semicolon. All right, so what this line is going to do up to this point is print out, is run df-h, and then pipe it to sed, which is just going to print out the first line. Now we're going to run df-h again and pipe it through sed-n of tick one bang p tick, right? So what this is going to do is going to print everything except for the first line. And then we're going to pipe that through sort dash k four dash h. So now if we look at the output of this, we can see the header line getting printed and then everything else sorted the way we want it sorted. Another way is to use the awk command. Uh, we're going to use awk to print out just the first line. Right, so similar to the said concept, we want to print out just the first line and then sort everything else but the first line. So the way we do this is df-h, pipe it through awk, single tick, open curly brace, if, parentheses, nr equal equal one, end parentheses, curly brace, print, dollar zero, semicolon next, end curly brace, end curly brace, so this portion right now is basically only going to print the first line if the line number is 1. And then it's going to advance to the next line with the next command. And then from there, we're going to do curly brace print $0. Pipe that through double quote sort dash k four dash h and double quote and curly braces and single quote. So the second section here. What we're going to do is print out the entire line and then pipe that through the sort command. And that's going to get echoed out to standard output. So once we hit enter, we can see that the command correctly echoed the header line and then sorted everything else. Let's go ahead and run the similar command again and do df-h and pipe that through sort-k. This time we're going to do number five instead of four, and then dash H for human readable. And then once we hit the enter, we can see that the human readable also sorts by percentages, as the fifth field is a percentage field. So this may be useful to you if you want to create an alias so that you don't have to retype the same long command every time you want to use it. So what we can do is alias df sort equals double quote df dash h pipe sort dash k five dash h double quote. All right. And once that comes back with no error, we can just type df sort. And as we can see, it works just like we typed the whole line and it could be very convenient for you. If the file you're looking at has duplicate lines that you want to filter out, you can use the dash U option to only output unique lines. In a different video, we use the sed command to look through a web server log to pick out the IP numbers which access that web server and then separate them out as network address and a host ID. Let's run that command again and look at its output. So the command was sed tick s slash caret backslash open parentheses bracket bracket colon digit colon and bracket and bracket star slash dot slash n parentheses and we're going to repeat that four times and the last instance of it we're going to get rid of the slash dot and just put in a space and then at the end, we're going to do a dot star and then slash network underscore prefix colon backslash one backslash two backslash three slash tab host underscore ID colon backslash four 
slash end single quote. And then we're going to have that operate on the file called access.log. And then we're going to redirect the output to said underscore output. And then we're going to do more of set underscore output to take a look at it. And as you can see, the output is just uh, as long as the original file, but only contains IP numbers, which is all we care about in this particular example. And since we only care for unique IPs at this point, we can pipe the output of that said command into sort with a unique option to eliminate duplicates. So if we up arrow, and then change the redirect to a pipe sort dash u and then redirect that output to sorted underscore output and once that's done let's do a more of sorted output and we can see that this file contains a sorted list of ips and does not appear to have duplicates and so to prove that we can do a word count on all three files, right? The original log file, and then the said output, and then the sorted output file by doing a wc-l access.log said underscore output sorted underscore output. So here we see that the access.log and said output are the same number of lines, right? Because all that it's said doing is just taking the IP numbers out of each line. But the sorted underscore output file, however, is much shorter because it took out the duplicate lines out of said underscore output. So if you're only interested in each unique IP that is hitting your web server, this would prove to be very valuable. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about the sort command, which can sort a file based on fields alphabetically or numerically. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.